Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan. Welcome to the video on Friday afternoon. The markets are just about to close and as we can see today was a down day but we've had two days of solid upward movement in the market. So let's go ahead and put a daily chart on and um, in fact before we do that uh, you can see there's some there's been some selling pressure from this point onwards from about uh, 1130 today. So uh, obviously I think uh, the smart money doesn't want to go into the weekend uh, exposed by a whole lot. So now having said that let's just take a quick look at what happened uh, this week and so if we do a uh, and you can see this you know this is some very powerful uh, up moves over here the last two days of course before that we are coming down from a level of about 2100 all the way to 1800 so that was uh, about a 12 uh, percent I mean I'm sorry about a 10 percent uh, move on the S&P but on the Nasdaq it was even more than that so if you look at the NQ which is the uh, Nasdaq come down from 4600 to 3900 so that's almost like a 15 percent 17 percent move so but since then we've been uh, trying to make our way up and certainly I think last two days given uh, that China was also up uh, to, uh, today about 5 percent so it's been uh, it's been a pretty decent market it's been a decent rally but once again you know a couple of things we have to note here just because the, we had these strong days it doesn't mean that the crisis is over in fact if there's one pointer that tells you everything it is the VIX and you can see that the VIX is at 28.55 almost 29 now granted it's been coming down from 53 but the fact that it still remains at 29 which is a hundred percent more than the normal VIX because normal VIX is between 12 and 15 uh, it's a low VIX but you know that's generally the range of the VIX you can see I mean you know when there's nothing going on the VIX is uh, in the very low teens between 10 and 15 so uh, considering that the VIX is pretty high and therefore um, obviously the big players feel uh, that they still need protection they're buying SMP puts SPX puts uh, and um, that uh, can be visible by looking at the options as well so let's go take a look at uh, the uh, of course this is today's um, today's expiry but even if we look at the this is the quarterly no not quarterly this is the August 5 okay so uh, that's 20% but right after that you can see that we have um, you know all the 31 and 28 and so I mean it is an elevated VIX for sure and so uh, still premium selling would be the way to go and also now you have the ability to go out really far and um, at a 3 delta you still have quite a bit of uh, uh, premium there so here you can see 1750 is a 3 delta and you still have about two dollars premium in there so if you were to sell a vertical spread there you know it makes sense so while we do this um, uh, while we have this level of VIX premium selling is the way to go except the only thing is you have to do it in a safe manner now the I believe that depends on what happens next week but I believe that we are going to remain in the VIX uh, with VIX levels at 20 plus and that would actually uh, give us a very nice trading environment so uh, looking forward to September September is the weakest month of the whole year in general so that is something that is just uh, you know historically over the last 80 years um, September is the weakest month in the markets and so uh, that's another bit of uh, statistic that's uh, going to play into the markets but uh, uh, lots of opportunities you know love these high VIX environments uh, because you can uh, you can really go far deep out of the money a uh, lot of stocks have bounced back you can see Apple is back to 113 and you know just three four days ago it was at uh, 95 uh, same with Google Google was uh, slightly below 600 and all all stocks are uh, you know have um, climbed back up however if you look at their 
if you look at their uh, you know all time highs if you look at the charts you can see google is coming down from 704 went down to 593 still at 658 so a lot of lot of opportunities here to cash in so we'll be looking forward to uh, these opportunities next week and um, uh, look forward to uh, look forward to making those videos uh, again next week but a very interesting environment uh, the high wix tells us that the smart money still doesn't trust the rally uh, fully and that the crisis is not over and and sure enough um, you know fundamentally if you look at what's uh, happening in china uh, they've not really solved any problem they've probably put a band-aid on the issue as of now so have a great weekend everyone we'll speak to you next week bye bye